What's happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com. Now, in the previous steps, we talked about some safe practices for working on our computer. We also talked about that we would like to upgrade our processor. Now, in this step, we get to upgrade our processor. So let's check it out. The processor is one of the components you have to be the most careful with, I'd have to say, because it's the one most sensitive to being damaged. So to upgrade your processor, you want a couple things ahead of time. One of the things you'd like to have for upgrading or changing out processors, definitely do not do this without this component, is thermal paste. Whether it be Arctic Silver 5, which is high density polysynthetic silver thermal compound, or just heat sink compound. So you want to have a thermal compound. Now you might be saying to yourself, what do I need thermal compound for? Well, you absolutely have to have a thermal compound because that's the, you can think of it as the oil in your engine because you can't drive your car without oil because the thermal compound will be used to transfer heat between your processor and your heat sink. So it's an essential item. Now, let's take a look at our processor here. More times than not, you'll have two clips on the processor. Well, a clamp will simply hook on one end and then hook on the other end. So it's like a, like a tension clamp, you guess you might call it. <clears throat> you have the safety latch here. And also, before we dive in and start yanking stuff out, um, we'll want to remove the power cord from the motherboard. And it'll, be, it'll have simply one clip on the side. These guys can be a little bit of a bugger, so you might want to go like a back and forth type thing. Also, if you have a hard time with your, uh, with the power connection to your motherboard, what you can do is grab a fill, uh, flathead screwdriver, depending on the size, and you can kind of wedge it in there just a little bit and kind of pop it out because Molex, connection, Molex connectors and these power connectors from these power supplies are not really made to pop in and out all the time. So kind of, kind of lame, but... All right, now to remove our processor, you'll want to unplug the fan power from your heat sink fan. you want to get your fingernail behind that guy and then kind of rock it up. And there we go. This little three, four pin guy is unhooked. And then you want to unhook the clamp, grab it by the fan, pull it up. Now what you see here is thermal paste on the heat sink. And if your computer's just been running, don't grab your heat sink because it'll be really hot. Now, the thermal paste you have here, you want to clean all of that off before you put on your new thermal paste. Well, actually you're installing a new processor, so what are you worried about? So to install a new processor, I want to flip up this little lever right here, all the way up. And almost every processor these days is called a zero insertion force processor. And that means you don't need any pressure to actually install it. And like when dealing with processors, I have my ESD strap, so I'm not gonna have any static going on. And I'm, you know, touch the case, ground yourself. You wanna grab it by the edges here. Just lift it right up. There you go, that's our processor. And you can see where to install the processor by this little tiny arrow on the corner. That's the direction of where you want the other arrow so they match perfectly. So when installing a brand new processor, goes, let's see. And you see, once you get it, set it on there right where you need it to go. Like I said, zero insertion forced. And then lock that bar down. Clean off the thermal paste. Then clean off the thermal paste off the heat sink. Once you have it all clean, you want to just make sure to reapply the thermal paste to the processor before you attach the heat sink. Drop the heat sink back down, hook it on one side, push down and hook it on the other side. There we go, and then plug your fan in. There you go, processor's been installed. Now, another thing to take note of, make sure that fan is spinning when you turn on your computer because if it's not, you definitely have to turn it off really fast and you don't want to fry your new processor. All right guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one. That will be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, 
Only you can prevent spyware viruses and all that bad stuff on the internet.